Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the She Wolf Pack book tag. Now, you might be asking yourself, what on earth is a She Wolf Pack book tag? I should give you a little bit of background. The She Wolf Pack book tag originated from our group chat, a group chat that I'm a part of called the She Wolf Pack. And it started when I forced Jenna Van Maverick and Audrey Bodine to be my besties. We found each other through Bookstagram many years ago and had an acquaintanceship. Um, but then through Facebook, we found out about Fuller House and I was like, um, we all love Full House. We are going to have a watch party and watch Fuller House. And if you didn't know, in the show Fuller House, Kimmy, Stephanie, and DJ call themselves the She-Wolf Pack. And there's three of them. We did the watch party, we became fast friends, and we changed the name of our group chat to the She-Wolf Pack, and it has since become our entire personalities. <laughs> it is the best. Um, we have our own merch that we've all created for ourselves to share. We have matching t-shirts. Um, we have stuffed animals and blankets and ears and we do a yearly get together called a She Wolf Pack Trip. Um, and we just, they are my best friends and it goes way beyond books. Um, but it did start because of books and 90s television reboots. Um, and I don't know where I would be without those girls. So, very thankful, but we decided to get together and create the She Wolf Pack book tag and essentially what it is. It was made in celebration of bookish friendships, the people you meet through Instagram or Facebook or YouTube and just those friendships that you create because of books and that go so much further bo than books, but you can still you can still sit back and think, mm, yes, we can chit chat about the books. It is designed just with some of our inside jokes and some things that we love about Christian fiction, about the bookish community in general. There are all all kinds of things. These prompts are great. We did design it and release it in on Valentine's Day because love Oh, we love February and love and Galentines and all the things. But what's fun is that these prompts can be done at any point because they are not holiday specific necessarily. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get into the tag. You will find that the tag spells out She Wolf Pack. We each took a, a word and created prompts. We did not talk to each other before making them, um, but it is so much fun how they all really do correlate very well together. So it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. First is She. So S is Summertime, a book that takes place primarily during the summer. And I struggled so hard with this because these my book responses in this video are completely different than my responses in my reel on Instagram. So if you want to see some different options for this tag, you can go ahead and check that out. My Instagram is linked in the description. Um, but I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to when books are set. I'm really bad about that unless it is full on like this is a fall book or this is a Christmas book. I don't really pay attention. But I did find this book. I haven't read it yet. Hopefully at some point um, this author's work sounds super intriguing. But I grabbed The June Boys by Court Stevens. And this is, I want to say, it's young adult, but I would say probably like suspense thriller-esque. Um, it is about boys who go missing in June. And I think there's like a year between them or something like that. Yeah. It's about the Gemini thief who is a serial kidnapper. He take, they take three boys and holds them captive from June 1st to June 30th of the following year. So all set like I mean happens in June and things like that so that was my option for summertime. H is happily ever after a favorite book with a happy ending. I have so many options for this but I thought that I would talk about a book and essentially a series that I love so much 
hold very dear to my heart. Um, but that is A Dream to Call My Own by Tracy Peterson. This is book three in the Brides of Gallatin County. I adore this series with my whole heart. It was one of the first ones that I read when I started reading Christian fiction as a young little chicken. And I absolutely love these books and they do have happily ever afters and they are historical fiction and just absolutely chef's kiss e is everywhere you look and this is a book with a setting you'd love to visit in real life and for this i chose a girl's guide to the outback by jessica kate and this book is set in australia and i would love to go to australia sometime so had to had to had to show this off and also this is a book that I really enjoyed reading a couple years ago um but I never talk about it so I was excited to show it off a little bit I'm excited because Jessica Kate is writing again and she has a book coming out soon so yay next is the word wolf and first is W watch party a book that would make a good movie or tv show and I went with Fox by Nadine Brandes. I think that this would make a super interesting um, either movie or like master, like PBS Masterpiece BBC short series. Um, I think they could do a lot with this um, and like the fantasy vibes. And then on top of it, it's historical fantasy around an event that actually happened. Um, and just like take it and run and have fun with it. I think they could do awesome things with the colors and the masks and the magic. So I think that that would be super cool to see in a movie or a TV show. Next is O. Oh, oh, what fun. A Christmas book. And for that I went with Better Watch Out by Natalie Walters. This is book one in her new Defenseman Romantic Holiday um, adventure series. It was super cute. I read it this past season really really enjoyed it and if you're looking for a Christmas book to add to your TBR for this upcoming season or even Christmas in July I think that this is one you should definitely add to it um, it's set at New York's in New York City at Christmas time and just oh love that is definitely on my bucket list another place I could have used that for the places I'd love to see in real life because I have never been to New York City Next is L. Laughter is the Best Medicine, a book that made you laugh out loud. And for that, I chose My Phony Valentine by Courtney Walsh. Y'all, I read this book a couple weeks ago while I was traveling to California for a Galentine's event. Super fun, by the way. Um, but I was reading this on my Kindle in the airport at like 6 o'clock in the morning. And when I tell you, I was trying so hard not to like a hyena because there were some moments that made me just laugh out loud it was so funny so cute just adorable it is a fake dating hockey romance and it's just so sweet and so cute and book two I'm in the middle of reading book two my lucky charm right now that comes out in a couple weeks just in time for St. Patrick's Day um so I'm having a lot of fun with these books they are hol it's holidays with heart Holidays with Heart Romance. So I think, because there will be at least one more, I'm very curious to see which holiday she picks because we've got Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and then the last sister will get a book some, somewhere. Um, but this is just a sweet, clean, closed door rom-com. Um, no angst, nothing like that. So easy to read. Um, very funny, very sweet, super lighthearted, but still had so much depth. To it at the same time set in Chicago which I absolutely love as a girly girl who lives not too far from the city um, so it was just fun to see areas that I know um, mentioned uh, she mentions O'Hare which is the airport in uh, Chicago which is hilarious because I was reading those lines while I was sitting at O'Hare so it was a lot of fun um, and I really 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 enjoyed that next is F female friendships a book with strong fem female friendships um, or a friend group you'd love to be a part of. And for this, I went, it's technically a series, but I just grabbed the first book in the series. Um, and that is The Saturday Night Supper Club, and it's a Supper Club novel. Um, but this is about three really good, the series is about three really good friends, and they all have different businesses. And I read Brunch at Bittersweet Cafe and remember really liking it and loving the friendship between the three girls and I'm excited to at some point read books one and three. Um, they are standalones which is totally fine but the friendship group between the three 
was a lot of fun. Next is the word pack, and first is P, photograph, a book with pictures or il illustrations inside. And for this, I went with Messy Love by Gigi Bloom. This is a novella, a part of her series of brothers. I don't remember their last names, unfortunately. Um, but it is a part of a series, and I included it because at the back of the book, she included a bunch of either coloring pages or just illustrations in general. So I thought that that was fun to see. I tried really hard to keep my answers all Christian fiction um, or written by authors that I know have written Christian fiction in the past. Um, but Gigi does just write clean, sweet, closed door books. Um, but there aren't a whole lot of Christian fiction books I know of that have uh, illustrations in them or even pictures. So if you can think of any, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. But this was just a fun one um, because the illustrations are just a fun, a fun addition to the novella in the paperback. Next is A, Art, which is a book where the, the characters craft something artistic. And for this, I went with Enchanting the Heiress by Christiane Hunter. This is book three in the Hearts on the Heath series. The characters in this are working together to write a novel, write a book, um, and I don't think there's much more, there's something much more artistic than that. I think anything creative is very artistic, um, but this was one that I definitely wanted to highlight uh, because writing a novel is very artistic, and anyone who can do it, props to you. Next is C, Christian Fiction Favorite, a story that displays what you love about the genre. Oh, I could have picked so many, so many. But for this one, I went ahead and grabbed The Premonition at Withers Farm by Jamie Jo Wright. And this, I loved this because I think it just reminded me of how far Christian fiction has come. While I love the cliche historical fiction romances, they are still my bread and butter. Um, and Amish fiction has its own thing. Christian fiction has come so much further than that. It is heart. It is depth. It is interesting topics and it is real life with hope so ingrained in them that we have a hope for who we serve and even in the hard times we know that there is light at the end of the tunnel because there is hope for eternity um, and he's walking with us and he makes everything better and I think this book did such a great job highlighting that um, in the way of we are dealing with a very different uh, there's the Christ, Christian aspect that is not being fought over, but kind of being fought over because there's also a spiritualist in this book and a couple of seances mentioned. Um, and nothing crazy. Again, I talked about this in my uh, mid-year freakout tag, I think, as the book that surprised me the most last year. Um, but I think that this did such a good job handling so many different things because evil is out there uh, but Jamie is so good at showing you that there is hope and that there is a God who is over it all and yes evil exists but it doesn't triumph in the end um so I think that that one just does a really good job highlighting Christian fiction one how far it's come and two just why I love it so much because it tackles so many wonderful things and does it so well with such a great hopeful hopeful ending and last is K kiss a book with a kiss and for this I'm doing short straw by Karen Winemeyer I can't let a tag or a video go by without me talking about this beautiful book and this beautiful human I loved this book this is from the Archer Brothers series and it is so so good! <laughs> I think I'm due for a reread. I love Short Straw Bride. It is just adorable. There's a couple kisses in here, but one that always makes me laugh the most. Um, there is a scene in here with a kiss that gives a little bit of secondhand embarrassment. And I don't want to talk much more about it because I don't want to give it away. Just read the book. It is a lot of fun. Karen's absolutely amazing. And, oh, can't go wrong. 
So those are my answers to the She-Wolf book tag. Jenna, Audrey, and I had an absolutely amazing time putting it together, and we would love, 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 love to see your answers. We'd love to see you guys participate. Tag your pack. Create your own pack. Uh, if I'm not going to tag anyone specifically. We just want to get this out. We want everybody to do it, and then we'd love for you to tag your pack. Who would you love to see? So again, descript the prompts. <laughs> prompts will be in the description box below and please 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 do the video and then come back and let me know either on YouTube Instagram Facebook wherever you find me let me know you've done the tag um, and I'd love 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 to watch the video that you do here on YouTube or if you do it on Instagram whatever format you do it in even if you just shoot me a message with your with your answers we are watching the hashtag on Instagram and it getting excited when we see more people do it so we'd love to see it grow here on YouTube too we absolutely adore the book community and we ourselves are so thankful for it because we have gotten lifelong friends out of it and I know I've made other friendships that will stand the test of time that go beyond books but books are still our heart and I am just so incredibly thankful for the community and hope you guys are too and I hope you guys do the video and I hope you do the tag and I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget you can check out my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction and my blog for the love of Christian fiction .com. All my other links are in the description box below as well as Jen and Audrey. I, I really do think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.